back out to the boat to continue fitting the new lower gudgeons for the self-steering trim tab. Now uh, using a handsaw, a saber saw, used a wood rasp, even used my spoke shave which I hadn't used in years. And um, it's just back and forth, back and forth. You check the fit, make a few more pencil marks, ferret a little more, check the fit, and you get there eventually. I reckon that's starting to take shape. I got the little buggy whip there just to make sure that it's still lined up with the upper gudgeon and the gudgeon at the top of the rudder head. This trim tab is rectangular. It's a little over 40 inches. So I'm going to take 4 inches off the bottom, which will reduce the area by about 10%. There should be a transverse bolt that's in here somewhere right around in here. So I've got to be careful with the saw. So I've broken that bottom bit loose there from the shaft and I'm just rotating it on that lowermost quarter 20 bolt. As I said, there's four of those quarter 20 bolts that go through the shaft and bolt into the trim tab. And that's to keep the trim tab well secured to the shaft. In particular so the shaft doesn't break free and start rotating inside the trim tab without actually turning it. Whew, trying to cut through stainless steel with a hacksaw is a lot of work. I'm sure if I had a grinder or something, this would go a lot faster. The 44 pound spade anchor is, is by far the best anchor I've ever owned, at least in terms of performance. However, it's gotten a significant amount of rust on it over the years. I tried putting Rust-Oleum on it last year and that didn't last. So this year I'm going to try Pettit Rust-Lock. Uh, but first I got to wire wheel all that rust off. Alright, well it looks like this is finally got dry enough weather here to put some epoxy on. So the first repair on the boom is uh, I fiberglass these reefing combs on. Uh, just to reinforce them because there's a lot of strain on here and uh, I guess not surprisingly right at the ends uh, I've, I've ground it off but the, the fiberglass was delaminating you can see it up here right here you can see that's delaminated um, so I'm going to re, uh, re-glass this and I think just wrap the ends wrap all the way around the boom um, because the ends obviously are taking the most strain and have the least amount of support. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. Now, oh, finally getting some fair weather. We've had uh, about 10 days of on and off rain showers and just damp and humid. So 
I'll finally get to a bunch of varnish in here. So I'm only going to reuse this top bolt hole here because the new fitting is only about this long. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is put a couple layers of epoxy and fiberglass cloth over this whole thing. And then I'm also going to fiberglass this other bolt hole from the inside uh, just to be sure. Having holes below the water line is not a good thing. Okay, so now I have several laminates of fiberglass on the outside, and I'm just going to mix some 407 fairing compound with the epoxy and fair it all smooth in preparation for putting the new chain plate on. So another little repair is my, uh, this is my anti-lobster crab top, crab pot fishnet, because uh, occasionally lines will get up right in here. So this tab seems to prevent it. Uh, however, it uh, was just kind of dangling off there. Just, just holding on by the bottom of the fiberglass laminate. And uh, so I just epoxied this back on. And uh, so now I'm going to grind it back and put a few more layers of glass and make that a little bit stronger. I'll circle back once again to fitting that new lower gudgeon. This time I got the uh, trim down trim tab in place. And so let's see how it uh, how it's going to line up with the new lower gudgeon. That's getting there. I'm just going to make some marks on the rudder. And then the next step is to drill the bolt holes. I'll have two long quarter 20 bolts that'll go through the rudder where it wraps around the rudder. Okay, we're just going to bore this one a little deeper because I can't quite, can't quite get onto the threads there. This one looks good. So that'll bolt through the rudder. All right. Looks like we got both of them now. Here, both nuts. These are quarter twenty bolts with washers. So. Next step. So everything was just moving right along, and then one of two things happened. So it's, what is it, Wednesday, the 10th of July. I'm here at Maine Medical Center, and I'm waiting for him to bring my dad out. He had to go in for surgery. Um, so nothing to do, but. Uh, Yeah, 
don't see any sign of them yet. And they said they'll bring them right out. So hopefully, uh, hopefully he's able to walk and get around. We'll see. So I brought my dad back from the hospital. The operation was successful, and he's now recuperating. So things seem to be getting back on track, and I'm getting back to work at the boat. When the second of two things happened. Well, had a little bit of a change in plans here. It is Friday, the 21st of July, 2023. And... I was about to put some anti-fell on baby Ruth and came in and baby Ruth is gone. So apparently the yard uh, found their pickup truck down the road this morning. And uh, some of the yard workers here lost tools. They seem to be pretty indiscriminate about what they took though. Seemed to be just anything, uh, anything they could just easily get a hold of. Um, they didn't take my outboard, which usually they'd take an outboard before they'd take a dinghy, especially a rowing dinghy. So it's kind of a bizarre theft. But that, of course, means now i got to figure out how I'm going to go about, uh, well, maybe the, we'll get the dinghy back, but i figure out how we'll go about replacing it. Consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month. 